Previously on The Last Nuzlocke, I said I was going to go on a training episode. So boom, it's a training episode. <laughs> Hello everyone who's watching up, Keeping Up the Day with the Nuzlocke. That's right, it's a training episode. Trying to get everyone ready for the third gym, which honestly, if I'm being 100% honest with all of you, um, I think is the most likely shot of me just losing everyone and the Nuzlocke ends when everyone dies. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if, if if they can't beat this, it's over. It's done. I, there's no Pokemon I have left over that I can train. Uh, but with that Dire Straits, I mean, you'll know how it goes. If it literally says finale on in the title. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part. Oh, man. But we made it this far, so hopefully we'll keep on making it forward. Um... This is the gym I'm always, I've been fearing so much. So yeah, why am I doing this training and why am I showing you all this? It's because I wanted to show that I actually did it. There you go. I always feel bad when there's... It's funny because, you know, the normal Nuzlocke is super edited because I'm like, well, I believe you guys trust me in that I play and everything goes good. Or things go bad <laughs> as I... Uh, that unfortunate episode where we lost three members. But the point thing is, is that during the actual training, I wanted to show Pokemon getting leveled up. So here we are, and I put it in this edited form. I think this specific training session took two hours uh, because we're in a really bad spot for training. Holy shit! Um, and for I think for this specific setup, I am using Umamasumi. Uh, we got our boy Raiders fan, of course, always in it. We're training up Grazy because Grazy has uh, fallen a little bit, and Grazy doesn't know any good moves. Um, I can't believe how little Grazy has such bad moves right now. It really is like basically at this point, I think Grazy's actually one of the weaker members on the group. Grazy has high defense, but that's really all Grazy has um, in terms of actual strength and being the anchor. That's Raiders fan. But, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how it happened. It's just because Grass doesn't have many good moves in these in these gens. Um, that was true back then, it's true now. Um, it's got, he has, she has Grazy, the uh, Grazy Leaf. She has, um, the Leaf move and Absorb and Bite and Tackle, and that's basically been it for the past 10 levels. So hopefully we'll get her evolved soon into her final form and then the real, that's when the good shit starts happening. That's when we learn Earthquake and that's when we just completely body everyone. Another person I completely forgot is that Gibble actually has, and I noticed it while training, Gibble has extremely low attack and special attack and high defense and special defense. Which means they're basically useless for the gym. The whole point of the, having the psychic type is that you're supposed to be very strong. You know, your special attack is so strong you can wipe them out. Mm, Gibble doesn't have the ability to wipe out the enemy team, uh, which really sucks. So, they are trained a little bit, and obviously when we go into the gym, that's how I'm going to kind of train them that way, just to see how they do. I am afraid of losing Gibble, just because Gibble's half steel and psychic, so... It's not like Gibble's 100% immune to the terrible things they do. I'm also pretty positive that Lucario has a um, ground type move, in which case everyone is basically dead except for Raiders fan. So Raiders fan is the backup plan. It, I'm telling you right now, if if they if that Lucario has a ground move, which I'm pretty sure it does, that wipes out almost the entire team. The only ones that doesn't wipe out are Grazy and Raiders fan. Um, we just have to also hope it doesn't have a rock type move. Umumasumi dies so badly to earth types, it's not even funny. So I really don't even want to use Umumasumi unless it's literally down to the wire if someone has to be used. Um, it's gonna be crazy. Oh, but yeah, I also added uh, Magic Vio. Magic Vio will help with some of the heavy lifting in case. You know, in the off chance that um, Gibble eats it pretty early on. Magic Vio will be there, and Magic Vio has a special attack to back it up. She doesn't have the defense, so she'll die if she gets hit by any move from Lucario, but um, we should be fine. I think I also gave him Reflect for that very purpose. So while chances are due is I'll start with her 
in the front spot, use Reflect, and then just kind of have to hope that Reflect stays on for the remainder of the, the time on there. But yeah, that's that's the Pokemon plan, man. Other than that, how y'all been doing, man? Again, thank you guys very much for watching, and if you're watching, I didn't ask at the beginning, remember to always leave a like. Um, my lesser viewed videos are supported by like viewers like you leaving likes and showing an interest and being like... You know, not to say that I did, you know, obviously the, the, big, the bigger gotcha stuff gets me some pretty good views and some pretty good likes as well. Um, but, you know, that's not always all what I want to do sometimes, you know. And it's a shame because YouTube is currently in an environment where they don't want you to focus on multiple things. They want you to be one thing. And I'm the, the woober that dares to try and do different things for as long as I can. Until I have the ability to full-time stream, <laughs> in which case, you know, we'll see how life goes when that happens. But until then, keep it on that. Let me just tell you real quick how my day's been going, because let me see. Um, I did that uh, podcast with my brother, um, the pilot for it. I uh, really enjoyed doing that, so I've been actually trying to rework the format so it's not two hours long it's a good two hours in my opinion if you watch it you'll have a lot of fun you'll learn some stuff about power rangers that you didn't know you'll hear about turbo a terrible power rangers movie uh the main problem is, is that it's two hours long and not everyone has two hours to dedicate to anything i like watching two hour long videos i just finished watching the three hour long giant bomb ending video and it was fantastic the entire way through didn't care that it was three hours i saw it as hell yeah three hours but not everyone um, sees video stuff that way. Maybe because they're busy or something, but I don't know. Personally, I always really, really like really, really, really long videos. Um, that's just always been my cup of tea, my flavor to it. Um, I watched all season one of True Detective. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I liked it. Um, I thought the actual mystery behind it wasn't as good as... Um, the acting around it <laughs> the acting around it and the atmosphere and the mood was really good and then the actual case that was being solved is kind of like ah uh, really that's it huh. okay weird choice but <sighs> I guess you're the dudes in charge you would know right well, who the hell am I to say but um, yeah I really enjoyed that kind of got annoyed <laughs> through various parts, but I think that the, the show did a very good job of um, whenever the annoying parts came up and the act, uh, the character was there to say, shut the hell up, and I was like, oh, thank you. They even know that this is unbearable, <laughs> that, that listening to this guy go, the countess of the world is meaningless, so y'all time in the flat circle as we go around, you hear what I'm saying, Woody Harrelson. And then Woody Harrelson would go, No, shut up. There you go, okay. Life is meaningless. And it's kind of like that for like <laughs> eight episodes. Uh, but it was good. I'll probably start season two at some point. Um, I started a little bit of Resident Evil Village. I did a video on it, uh, playing for an hour, and then... <laughs> The fucking video ended up being 14 gigabytes big because I'm stupid and I didn't set the OBS settings right. So I had to fucking render it to a lower gigabyte because if I were to try and upload a 14 gigabyte thing to YouTube, it would take so goddamn long and use up so much of my data and shit like that. Like, I can't do it on my regular internet until I get good internet again and that's only gonna happen when we move. Um, hopefully soon. As I say every single time I mention it, um, but yeah, I really had to cut that down. Obviously, when the de when the time comes when I make 14 gigabyte long videos and I can just upload that shit, I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just upload that, sit in my bed. But I really can't do that. <laughs> I really can't do that nowadays, and it kind of sucks. Um, not a big fan of that, but you know, you do what you can, can which you do what you can with what you have the ability to do, and that's what I always strive to do. If you ever wonder, hey, how come I only do really one video a week? It's because, to be honest, if I did any more, and I've done stuff where it's more, this specific time schedule that I have on, it's just fucking killer, man. It's draining. It's, 
it gets to you. So I try and do my best to just try and, you know, take, do what I can at any given step, you know. Everyone has their limits, and currently I've reached my limit living here. I know what my limits are, and if I try and extend beyond those limits, all that's going to end up happening is I get burned like Icarus, man. That's just the way of the world. You can, it, it sounds sad, but you know, if, if Icarus had actually just kept his altitude, he would be eventually reaching a place that maybe he could have used his wings in a more safer environment, you know? You never know what could happen if you just keep going, man. Don't try and push yourself if you, as a ways of a means of escaping, because that's a good way to just end up completely blowing yourself out. But man, that ended up getting strangely deep. Maybe I need to throw in the Matthew McConaughey, the world is meaningless. <laughs> oh man, I don't look good. The world has plenty of meaning. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I believe that life has plenty of meaning. It's just, I, no one can tell you what it means. Because what would be the point of someone telling you what is meaningful? All they can tell you is what they find meaningful. And what I do here, I find meaningful. I find it fulfilling. And that's the end of today's training video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, next week, we actually take on the gym leader. Uh, hopefully I won't be fucked up from taking my... <laughs> I I'll have enough time to recover from that. I on my I take my second dose of the vaccine on the 11th, and I think it uh, one two three days to kind of recover enough to feel good enough to record stuff. It's possible, but that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.